a little bit about um, this whole bomb thing that's going on because right now it's like big news. I know I look like a boy. Hey, what's up? How you doing? But anyways, um, so um, oh, by the way, I just got this new vest. Look at it. <laughs> Is that cute? I just bought it. It's Justin Bieber. That's right. Anyways, so <laughs> totally out of what's going on here, but anyway, so this whole bomb thing is happening right now, and I wanted to go on here today and kind of catch up with things, because I've been gone for two days, I've been writing this um, whole brand new um, column for this magazine for my friend's um, business, I'm a political column, so add that going for me, but um, I did want to touch base on a lot of things that were going on, because there's a lot going on, as you guys know, the hurricane's hitting right now, where that caravan is, and stuff like that, so I wanted to go on and talk about these things, but something else has been going down, let me widen that shot out for you. So something else has been going down, guys, and it has to do with the, um, yeah. it has to do with this whole bomb thing. So I don't know if you guys have heard about it yet, or um, I'm sure you guys have heard about it, but what do you guys think about the bomb thing? Um, so here's what's going on. Let, let's get caught up on what the bomb thing is, and if you don't know what the bomb thing is, let's educate you a little bit. So suspicious packages sent to Time Warner Center, Clinton and Obama, is how this whole thing started. Bombs were sent to the Clintons, the Obamas, and CNN today. Here's what you need to know. Suspicious, um, suspicious packages, potential explosive devices, were mailed to Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama, liberal billionaire George Soros, former CIA director John Brennan, and former, and former Attorney General Eric Holder over the past few days. Now, the thing is, is that um, CNN evacuated the explosive device. The explosive device addressed to Brennan was mailed to the CNN office at the Time Warner um, Center in New York City. The return address, many of the packages had their return addresses listed as Re Re Republican Debbie Weiserman Schultz address. If you have any information, the FBI is asking anyone with information about the packages to call FBI at 1-800-CALL-FBI or visit tips.fbi.gov. Now, here's the thing. First of all, obviously we know that this Republican did not do that because if she would have did it, she wouldn't have put it addressed herself unless she's that stupid or crazy, and I don't think she is. Um, and she's not a Republican, so let's be real what this is about. Obviously it's political. We, we know that. I bet both sides can agree on that. Secondly, there's some really crazy facts going on here that nobody's really talking about and everybody's kind of ignoring. One, everybody who knows anything about a mailing a letter to your congressman or anything such or any such like that, if you ever mailed any kind of mail to any kind of person importance of importance in um, politics, they do have people that go through their mail to make sure that there's no bombs and stuff like that. There's extra security given to people like that. Meaning like there um all of our um mail by the way goes through like um X ray detectors and stuff like that so people can't mail people bombs due to things that have happened in American history in the past. So that being said, if you know anything about the mail the mail place in general USPS, bitch. You know that your mail gets goes through x-ray and goes through a lot of things. That's why people can't mail, I don't know, drugs. <laughs> that's why these things happen, because we do have all of our mail checked and inspected all the time. So that's why they did not make it to the houses. But it's a good thing that the mail didn't make it to any of the houses, because all of these people were not even home. Not one of these people were home. Again, I repeat, not one of these people were home. So if you really were a Republican and you hated these fucking Democratic leaders you would probably know where they are. Why is that? Because for one, you know their addresses. For two, you follow them on Twitter, guaranteed some kind of some kind of social media network, otherwise you wouldn't have any reason to hate them. Um, and it's weird how you're only sending bumps to the ones that have been in the media lately. Soros, Clinton, let's be real. We're, and it's right near the um, midterm election. So we either have a really crazy Republican on our hands who is stupid as fuck and doesn't know um, where people live but know their addresses, apparently. And also, they don't have any kind of social media sites, so they don't know where these um, politicians are because they are listed on Twitter where they're at at all times. So, either we have a really dumb Republican on our hands or we have a really, really dumb play playing out from the Clinton fucking... Confederation, <laughs> they're the Clinton and fucking dumbass Soros and dumbass fucking Maxine Waters. We probably have people come after them. And yes, I'm gonna say dumbass because I think that I'm not into conspiracy theories, and I normally don't believe conspiracy theories. I'm actually one person that's against conspiracy theories. I think it's stupid. Show me proof. I'm a realist. I think you're, you're dumb if you don't believe in aliens being out there. But I do not think they came to Earth yet. I want to see proof. Is my saying. So here's the thing. I think that we should exercise all possibilities here. And that being said, wouldn't it be something that the Democrats would do, first of all? Second of all, doesn't it seem kind of um, perfect 
right before midterm elections to send you and all your friends these little stupid pipe bombs, knowing that people are going to check through your mail and that they're going to find them first and they'll never reach to you. The only people who really know that would be the Democratic people themselves, and you only send to the ones that you want, you got us talking about in the media, and you didn't send to anybody else, and nobody got hurt. Nobody. And <laughs> you weren't even home when they got sent to you. So I think that we have to exercise the fact that, um, what if they set it up themselves, and I'm not, I, I can't, that sounds crazy, it sounds dumb, like what the fuck who would do that, right? But I see how somebody's going to know your address and know things about you and hate you and you being a politician. And they want to send you a bomb strategically placed at all of these people's homes. So I do believe that this strategical person will not be stupid enough to, first of all, not be able to stay on social media when they're home and when they're not home. Second of all, won't be stupid enough to know that clearly they'll be found before they get to the people or their houses. Soros, you need to check on your mail people, girl, because Soros... Bitch, they should make it to your house, girl. Like, what the f <laughs> Who the fuck? <laughs> I am um, Soros billionaire, liberal. Well, if you are so fucking great, you should probably have people check your mail, Mr. Famous. Um, so that being said, I don't know how the fuck it made to Soros' door. Maybe it's not from the, obviously, the Republican representative who's going to put her own name. Come on now, think real, guys. From Florida, when Soros doesn't even live near Florida. So maybe the person who is sending these bombs out lives in where Soros lives. Because he's the only one that made it to the doorstep. How did he make it to his doorstep? Did he go through the mail, the mail processing? Because every single person, other, every other person's bombs did not make it to those um, known ways of getting from the mail to, your, to, the, to their house. I get it. It sounds confusing. Do you guys see what I'm saying, though? I think that what if they would have did it for themselves? What if they send these bombs strategically on purpose to make it look a certain way? Even the one that made the source his door didn't even hurt anybody. Like, nobody got hurt from these bombs at all. Like, that's crazy. And the person, the, person who, the person who made the bombs apparently knew where all these people lived, knew all these people were the only ones we're talking about in the media right now, and didn't check to think if they were home or that they would get inspected before going to their house. I just feel like if they're a strategical criminal, they'll probably do it right. Or maybe even do it wrong because they're criminals, but at the same time, do be a little smarter than that. I don't know, that's just a conspiracy theory, I guess, that we can all exercise a little bit. But let's go over the timeline. Let's talk about this situation. So like I said, bombs were sent to Clinton's, the Obamas, and CNN today, which was yesterday. So let's follow the timeline of when the bombs were found, okay? okay. A number of similar crude explosive devices have been sent since Monday to former President Barack Obama, Hillary Clinton, other top political figures, and CNN's New York offices. Here's the timeline. Wednesday, first of all, other top political figures um, is not that liberal billionaire, bitch. Why are you even putting him in as that? Because you don't want to say he's a, the liberal billionaire, Soros? Like, what? That's stupid. He's not, I hate that they would even consider him a top person in this. Okay, Wednesday. A suspicious package was sent to the, sent to the Florida office of Democratic Representative Debbie Wazerman. But I thought they came from her. Democratic Rep Representative Debbie, Debbie Wazerman Schultz on Wednesday morning. It was intended for former U.S. Attorney General Eric Holder, but had the wrong address. The package was returned to the Democratic con con Congresswoman because that was the return label on the package. Two law enforcement sources said CNN's New York bureau in the Time Warner Center was evaluated shortly after 10 a.m. Was evacuated shortly after, after 10 a.m. Wednesday after the discovery of a package contained, containing a bomb said law enforcement officials, who added that the package was addressed to former CIA Director John Brennan. Brennan had appeared on CNN. A suspicious package intended for California Democrat Representative Maxine Waters was in, in, intercepted at a congressional mail screening facility in Maryland, sources told CNN. A package contained a possible explosive device intended for former President Barack Obama was intercepted by the U.S. Secret Service at a screening facility in Washington. Now, most of our political officials have these screening facilities. And um, that being said, nobody knows that more than the politicians themselves. And it's really crazy to me that these, somebody was sending out these things and not one of these people were even home or would be home during the time that they would, should receive their package. But if I was a Democrat and I wanted to win in November and I've tried, and I'm crazy because I'm a Democrat, so if I was crazy enough to, I don't know, send 7,000 people walking across Mexico to go and South America and break down the wall, and to do it in Mexico so they can prove that wall doesn't work, 
I would probably be the, is crazy enough to, I don't know, send me and a couple of my friends some little fake pick pot bombs on their not even come to us, knowing that they're going to be stopped and intercepted no matter what. And I know that just in case they're not intercepted, just in case there's a disgruntled like, employee at the mail center, maybe um, I'll make sure also none of us are even home. And I'll do it. And this sounds like a perfect fucking crime, doesn't it? It does. Because let me tell you, I think that if somebody is going to study and find out where your fucking address is, bitch, and make sure these are strategically ad arriving at their houses, but won't even think that they might have security or something else like that, because they all have, like, bodyguards and shit every time you see them on TV, who would be that dumb to not know that somebody else might handle their mail before they, they don't just answer their door like, oh, the mail for me, oh. Otherwise, they would have sent FedEx, bitch, but they didn't. It's USPS. So who is that stupid? Nobody. I, I really cannot think of one... If you're smart enough to make a pipe bomb, you're smart enough to find out every person's address, and you're smart enough to know that there was only the ones that was in the media recently, but you're not smart enough to think about that somebody might check their mail before it gets to them. Hmm. And if you hate the politicians... You're probably really into things like, um, I don't know, politics. And if you know anything about politics, you know about things that have happened in the American past. The reason why every mail package you send in your life in America will go through x-rays and other ways of checking the mail. That's why people don't send bombs to each other, and that's why people don't blow up all the time. So, I don't know, guys. It sounds really fucking fishy to me. I don't know if a Republican did this, especially because they put another Republican's name and address on it as a return address, which will be um, stopping the red wave because they're making people hate this Republican who supposedly sent all these bomb packages. So if a Republican wants to win, why would they be mad that they're already winning, first of all? Second of all, why would they want to ruin their chances of really taking over America by ruining a Republican representative that's going to be running this November for one of the states, which will keep us more ahead. Why would any Republican want to ruin that? And be stupid enough to know where you live, but not when you'll be home. When you're the most public people on earth. Bitch, I can look on Twitter and tell you where you're at today. Like, let's be real. And a party that is willing to get 7,000 people to walk across two countries just to come and riot at our borders and put our brothers and sisters and mothers and uncles and aunts and dads who are enlisted in the military at risk by sending them down there. Looks like it's, looks like the only people who would plan something like sending bombs to people, the only people stupid enough to do so would be the same people sending those 7,000 people down here, I think. Oh, look, that's Democrats. Oh, look, this is going to help them try to win. Oh, look, they're the ones that would sabotage the Republican and feel nothing for it. It kind of all makes sense, you know? But again, I... Who am I? Who the fuck am I? I'm just a faggot wearing a Justin Bieber fucking jacket. That's amazing, by the way. I bought it on Macari yesterday. Look at this shit. Cutest dog. Anyways, it's that. I just wanted to go over that timeline. Oh, look, it was all on Wednesday. Oh, that, that's pretty strategic. Especially because of the fact that you're sending them to different places in the country. And they're all getting there, like, same day. That's really strategic. That seems like a smart person would do that. But how would you not think to check at their home? Oh. And why would you ruin another Republican, like, from being in office? It just, it just doesn't make sense that it's a Republican. I'm sorry. This does not make any sense that it's a fucking Republican. It, to me, screams... Cheap ass democratic shot because that's all they fucking do. And I'll be honest with you, if they're willing to let people suicide, <laughs> hashtag killed. <laughs> if they're trying to, if they're willing to literally end lives, if they're willing to have people with their children march across the country, which who even knows what's going on with all that right now? It's a hurricane going through those people. Who would sacrifice that many people and not give a fuck about them, but try to use them as a political ploy? Who would sacrifice anybody for that matter and not feel bad about it and try to use them as a political ploy? The Democratic Party. Oh look. You try to make yourself look even more victimized because you know your people play off victimhood. Of course they're all victims. They had bombs sent to them. It's sad. It's really sad. Bitch. Could you fucking just... Hillary, can you just come out and say it? Like, just say, bitch, okay, I'm mad that the Republicans are winning so I'm trying to fuck shit up for them 
and it taught me that I'm gonna continue to fuck shit up for them. But for me, 2020, I'm Hillary Clinton. Why don't you just do that shit, bitch? Like, if you did that, I have more respect for you. Because what you're doing right now is hurting people that vote for you, you dumbass bitch. And trying to make it seem like it fucking came from some Republican representative. Come on. If I was if I was a Democratic Party, I would have been smarter. But then you know, I wouldn't be Democrat. But if I was dumb as fuck, like a liberal or Democrat, this is what I would do. I would send the packages, and I would put some, like, blow smell guy, you know, somebody who nobody's even gonna know who the fuck it is, or somebody who maybe even fucking, fuck it, told me I was ugly in middle school or something. Like, I would pick somebody who's totally random, because it would be way easier for the public to believe there was somebody totally random than to believe it was this Republican representative right before midterms. Are you dumb? Like, are you stupid? They put a fucking Republican representative. As if we all know, and no matter what, that we all know it was not her. Like, we all get that. But what they're trying to do is also smear their reputation. Oh, and that person is um, running in a swing state? You tell me that this person's reputation can cost us the election? Midterms? Bitch! Can you be any more obvious? Now. I get it. Conspiracy theories are conspiracy theories, and Hillary will fucking suicide anybody who gets in her way. I ain't trying to get in her way, but I'm trying to state the obvious, bitch. Be better about your shit, girl. Because... <sighs> Can you get more obvious? Like, what more obvious shit do you guys need? Anything else that you guys want to be more obvious to you guys on the left, that your leaders are fucking... <laughs> lost their minds. Like, they're fucking insane. Like, what the fuck? Like, what in the fucking fuck, fuck, fuck? I just don't get it, you guys. And this is blowing my fucking mind. So let's continue. <laughs> okay. Woo! Oh, and they found another package at Wazerman Schultz's um, office addressed to Eric Holder. Now, and the other packages said they're coming from Wazer Schultz's office. A Republican representative running in um, Florida. A swing state. If they make sure the Democrats win in a swing state, that gives them back to seeing the house on the horizon. But you are not the captain of the ship, bitches. We are. And you're wearing your fucking scared to shit, fucking scared to death fucking shit pants on for us all to smell and see. Because... It doesn't get any more obvious. This is crazy. I think the Democrats did it. I'm going to say it. I think the Democrats did this. I think it's a Democrat ploy to fucking win before midterms because obviously that hurricane is going to stop all those thousands of people they got coming here now. They were supposed to get here on the day of midterms, which is really crazy because who the fuck can walk across 1,700 miles in a week? Me and my roommate, we did a little bit of math the other day, okay? And we do the math at 15 miles a day, bitch. We'll take you still fucking... How long will it take you, babe? Hello? And it will take you... So, if you do this, break this down. There is... How many miles can an average person walk in a day? Even in Boy Scouts, they only make you walk like, what, four? So, let's be real. How many miles? Let's give them credit. Let's say they walk... 10 miles a day. And now they have 1,700 miles to walk across Mexico to get to America. And they were sent set to be here on... Election Day... That's strange, because I thought they were walking. Is somebody funding buses or something? I don't know. Could it be the same person that was handing them money in Honduras and telling them to leave with their nice-ass lives? Maybe they get off the buses occasionally and like take some pictures walking or something. I don't know what they're doing, but either way. I remember they got all the buses at the border of Mexico, so that's why I showed them all there. But that just doesn't add up to me. Anyways, so the same dumb people who would make things obvious like that would be the same dumb people who said these bombs to people like that. Let me know your thought. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Um, I'm gonna be going soon, but um, I just want you guys to know that if it was that Republican representative, which I, obviously who the fuck's gonna tell themselves like that? Republicans are smarter than that. Um, I do not think that that is the case, but if it is the case, God bless her soul, because she deserves to fucking die, but <laughs> I don't think we have to worry about that too much. I'm really being honest with that. I really don't think we have anything to worry about, so um, 
I think. Yes, I just saw somebody said they voted early. Make sure you guys go and vote early. Vote, 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 vote. red, vote red, vote red, vote, vote red, vote red, vote red. But if this woman did not do it, this is another ploy of a smear. This is another smear campaign against another Republican representative, and it just makes sense to me that they would smear her because she's in a swing state. Has she won? We'd fucking have another Republican up there. So let's be real about this fucking shit. Why would they only send bombs to Maxine Waters or Soros? The people we're talking about today, the people that are the biggest in the in the Democratic um, world, the people that um that the only the only people that Republicans wear on their sleeves that they do, do not like is Maxine Waters, Soros. Come on, come the fuck on, guys. Come on. Like that was strategic. This whole thing has been strategic. How can it go this strategic? But they won't know that they're home during the time, and they don't realize that, oh, all of our mail gets checked going through the fucking mail systems. Urgh. Like, no, a Republican would not forget that. A Republican would not oh, skip that. A Republican would not just think that's the most least important part. That's the most important part, bitch. Where's the bombs going to get to? I'm not saying it's okay to throw bombs, but I am saying if I was going to mail somebody a bomb, I'm not even that smart, bitch. If I was going to mail somebody a bomb, I'd fucking realize when they're home, especially if I had did all the research to find out their address. You know? I probably researched if they were home because not one of the people were home. I think that was a safety precaution done by the Clintons to say just in case it does get through the mail system, it did at Soros's, just in case it gets through the mail system, make sure you guys are home, make sure we all stay safe in this, but let's fucking do this to make them, the Republicans look shitty. I think that's what they're doing. And I don't, it sounds crazy. I get it. It sounds crazy and it sounds even stupid. But what have the Democrats done that do not, does not sound stupid and look crazy? Oh, wait. Or should we go ask one of those now 7,000 people walking here in a caravan through the middle of a fucking hurricane? But nobody's talking about what's happening to them, or are they safe or not. Oh, maybe they're not in the middle of the hurricane. Maybe they're actually inside doors. Maybe they're taking buses here. Hmm. Because I think it takes more than fucking five days to walk across 1,700 miles of Mexico to get to the American border by the day of Election Day. Personally, unless they're running here. Maybe they're running. Maybe they're all athletes. And maybe they're all, like world-renowned fucking runners. Who knows? But let's be real. The best runners don't exactly come out of Mexico. It's just, all I'm trying to say, I know it sounds like a lot, and I know I keep adding that problem on with this problem, and that problem on with this problem, but these two problems are the most dumbest things the Democratic Party has ever done, and it's obviously them. And I'm not going to say I think it is them. I think it's them. Just use your brain a little bit. And I get it, if you are a Democrat, you're going to say this is conspiracy theory because I'm not bringing exactly that much proof except for what CNN has reported down on the timeline of what's happening right now. Now, um, I do agree with you guys when I do say there isn't that much proof out there for that for it to be an actual accusation. So it's not an accusation. I think it's a hunch at this point. But let me tell you something. I don't think anybody else does dumb any more obvious than the Democratic Party. And... We can continue to read it, though, and be like, oh, okay, let's just pretend like somebody that this... Well, we already know, no matter what, it's not this Republican representative, because clearly it's, I'm made to smear her because she's obviously innocent. But let's be real. Um, I think whoever actually is sending these bombs is not some really smart idiot Republican. I'm sorry. <laughs> I really just... It's really hard for me to believe that. Anything that now that CNN says after has been stupid. Now, um... And of course, Hillary's going to go on immediately on CNN, of all places. CNN's the only one that was sent the bomb. Donald Trump thinks a lot of news sources are fucking fake, not just CNN. But you do, you are going to be paying these people to go on to CNN to speak about the bombs. Weird, how come they're not going on any other site to speak about the bombs? Or any other, um, any other production channel or whatever. Because I think that if there's bombs all sent to CNN, as a politician who had a bomb sent to me, I probably wouldn't want to go to CNN right away. To be safe. i probably only talk about it like on a NBC or ABC or something. I'd talk about it somewhere else. Why do I want to go where another bomb was sent? <gasps> but maybe it wasn't a Republican. Maybe it was the Democrat who sent the bombs. Here's your sign. Anyways, here's your sign. Look what I got. <laughs> this is cute. Kind of weird, huh? <laughs> I saw the grocery store. I was like, the fucking grocery store. This bitch, this ain't groceries. Like, <laughs> I feel like they also have Melania's face, but it was really ugly. But this one's not that cute either. So the guy's not that hot. Whatever. But he's a good president. <coughs> anyway, so Hillary Clinton goes on CNN and says, It's a troubling time, guys. <sighs> if Democratic views were so strong, why the fuck 
Don't they stand on those grounds and just have fucking confidence? Why do they always have to play on their own people's emotions? Why do they always have to make it so sad? Why does everything have to be about victims? Why does it always have to be about victims and fucking oppressors? Why? It's troubling times, Hillary says. If she was confident in her political beliefs, she wouldn't have to do these ploys of sadness and playing on people's emotions. Stop. Stop. Any Republican would tell you and they would know that if you sent them bombs, all this is is another door into their victimhood. Because especially if you are a Republican representative who knows that your mail is checked. You wouldn't have done it. But, at any rate, Hillary, shut the fuck up. Nobody feels bad for you. Soros, shut the fuck up. Nobody feels bad for you. Obama, why are you still around? Shouldn't you have, like, rode off into the sunset like every other president after their fucking presidency? Like, go away, bitch. You do not get to be more than eight years. I'm sorry. You sit down. Sit the fuck down. What are you mad about? You couldn't have fucking won anyways. Dumbass. Anyways. So I don't feel bad for any of these people because I think that they did it themselves and I think that it's an inside job. I really do believe that and I think it's very obvious. And I think that if you don't see that, then you must think that they're stupid. Now, um, and they don't. They don't have any answers or anything. But I can tell you the only answers we do have is the answer of the fact that none of them were home during the time these bombs should have arrived. Not one of them. So a crazy person is going to know where you live when you are already under secret service and already hidden away. A crazy person is going to know where you live but not know if you're home or not, bitch. Maybe they were dumb enough to not realize that maybe all of our mail gets checked through, um, I don't know, scanners and systems because back in American history, people have sent bombs to people. I don't know. So, but they're smart enough to make a bomb. So maybe they are too stupid to know that they'll get checked through the, through the mail. So that's cool. I'll give you the Democrats that one. But really, they're not going to know if they're home. And just so happens to be every single one of them will not be home. Right when you realize that these caravan of people won't be here by election day because of the fact that there's a hurricane. Is this your backup plan, Hillary? You guys want those votes so damn bad, don't you? I hope you never get them again. You're evil, and everything that you're doing right now is so obvious, it's crazy. Like, it's so obvious. Like, you guys, you guys can't believe that there's some psycho Republican who knows how to make bombs and knows where they're, the, to address them to and make sure that they strategically go all over the country and all get there on the same day is too stupid to realize that they wouldn't be home or that their mail gets checked like everybody else is in America. Like... Please don't be that ignorant, and that's pure ignorance. If you do not be, if you cannot open up your mind enough to see that this is a possibility, I think that if the FBI is to investigate, the FBI needs to also investigate the Democratic Party. I think at this point they're putting people's lives at danger. Every politician has their assistants, has their um, their um, their whatever, their people that handle all their mail in their front desks. Who's to say one of these people will not have been the one they got hurt? You're using your own people as casualties as you always are. But when are you going to stop? We get it. You will never bring back 2016. And you will always be a Democrat. But in America, there's a beautiful thing called voting. You can vote every four years. You can vote and vote and vote. Keep voting until your little heart breaks or until your ass gets back in office. But do not play these dirty, dirty games. These are things that are hurting your own people. I get it that you didn't give a fuck when 100 women got arrested outside of the Kavanaugh hearing because you got them all up in their emotions about their past previous sexual assaults. I mean, they all got arrested. You're up on that fucking stage saying, I care about all women, but you're ignoring all those hundreds of women that are getting arrested who are real victims, who voted for you and believed in you. I get that. I get that. I get that. Okay. I'll let that one even slide. Okay, they didn't care about the people. They're not Americans. So we could even hate to do it because they're human beings, but we kind of can let it slide that you guys are doing this. It's a horrible thing to them. But now you're sending yourselves bombs, bitch, that could have hurt other innocent people who still believe in you and vote for you. It's pathetic. Get a new fucking game. If your politics are so strong and you stand so firmly with what you fucking believe, then why is your ground so rocky? Why is it so unstable? Why do you have to go to great lengths to get your point across if it's such a true point? Because I'll tell you one motherfucking thing. Republicans play the political game. But that's it. 
They're not doing these dumbass fucking things. They're not using these ploys to get to fucking another party. They're not lying and hurting and killing and ruining lives just to get back in control. Where, when you're in control, as we know, from not having the number one spot in the economic, economic world force until now, last time we had it was 10 years ago, right when Obama was getting in office, we dropped it. Dropped the ball, man. We know that no matter what, when you're in office and in power, the same thing will still happen. Hate, terror, murders, death. You use your own people at any cost. You use your own people as fucking ammo at any cost. And it's so sad and so disgusting. Because I'm gay. I was one of those people you use. Like, I'm not your fucking toy. Like, don't play me, bitch. Like, my sexuality is not a political ploy. My sexuality is not something that you can use to your advantage as you call me a victim and you a victor. You cannot say you're going to save me because I'm a gay because there's nothing wrong with me, bitch. So stop your democratic fucking idiocracy and trying to play fucking victors to the victims. Stop trying to act like you're the fucking saviors. You're the one who made this country go shitty. So if you're back in office, this country goes back to shitty. I don't want that. I don't want to be scared about fighting with North Korea. I don't want to be scared about fighting with the Middle East. I don't want to be scared of these things. And I also don't want to be China's bitch. So, I recommend everybody watching this to vote red November 6th. If you have already early voted, which I hope a lot of you have done, let's do it. Let's get it done with. Republicans, we vote early more than any other fucking party every single fucking time. So I already know, bitch, we think ahead. So I know we'll be good on that aspect, but please guys vote. Please vote. And if you are a Democrat and you're voting, vote red, bitch. Or green. Vote any other color in the world, bitch. Vote independent. Vote um, third party. Vote whatever you want to vote. But just don't. Vote Democrat. It's very one of those, like, very, like, vote for me if you want to live. <laughs> like, for real, bitch. Like, you do not want to live under Democrats anymore. Like, this is scary. This has gone too far. This is appalling. And this is um, something that I feel should scare the shit out of all of us. Because black people, you're not held down. You won't be held down. And you're, you, you're only held down by the party that tells you you're held down. Gay people, same to you. Women, but you guys have been taking over the world for a long ass time. Shut up. But I ain't got shit to say to you, bitch. <laughs> I love women, bitch, but damn. Like, we get it. You can do what a man can do, and you can do it better. And you can also have kids at the same time and doing it. We get it. We get it. We get it. But girl, you don't have to be a man. You don't have to compete with men. Your roles are different than men's. It doesn't mean men are better or women are better. It means our roles are different. We're different for different people. And um, it's okay to recognize those differences. It's not okay to judge people and put them down for those differences. Whether you're black, gay, woman, Mexican, um, it doesn't matter. And don't forget, we do not hate illegal... Well, I mean, we do not hate immigration. We hate illegal immigration. Why? Because the word illegal means against the law. It's simple, guys. To live in this country shouldn't be this hard. To live in this country shouldn't be this confusing. But the Democratic Party comes through and everything goes array. And we all get confused on if black people have rights. We all get confused if women have rights. We all get confused if gay people are about to lose theirs again. But don't let things confuse you. Stick to the basis, basics and stick to reality. Oh yeah, and to address that gay situation, gay marriage went to the Supreme Court, honey. It can never be overturned. It can never be brought up again. So... Those gays out there saying that they're, if Republicans win, they're going to be taking out gay marriage again? Shut up. Just shut up. That automatically just proves that you don't know shit about politics. Sit the fuck down, shut the fuck up, and vote. Hopefully, you'll vote in a favor of your life, not in a favor of what one party's telling you that your group is better than everybody else. Like, not that group. You know? If you're a gay and you've been told that the gays, the future is queer, then you've been lied to. If you're a woman and you've been told that the future is woman, You've been lied to. If you are black and you've been told the future is black, you've been lied to. And if you are an illegal immigrant and you've been told the future is immigration, you've been lied to. This country involves queers. The future's not queer. It involves queers. This future involves Christianity. The future involves women. It involves black people. It involves us all together. We are not separated. And the Democratic Party will stop at nothing to separate us. The only way we're going to stop any of this is by coming together. Message. <laughs> so I suggest you guys kind of um, take these into consideration when you are voting this um, this election day. And um, I'm not completely well just sitting here. I'm not 100% yet. So I am definitely, I'm still sick. So that's why I've been gone for two days. And I'm going to still continue to get better. So I might be gone tomorrow too. 
but um, I do have a lot that I want to go over with you guys, and also I I got some extra um, voting papers, and so th this is only for the people in California. If you guys want to um, watch in on a live video, I'm going to be doing either tomorrow or the next day. The very next one I'm doing is going to be um, going over both sides with their um, with their stances on each of the Californian issues, and then I'm going to be going over the voting um, poll and how it works. And um, the kind of party you you associate yourself with, and I'm gonna show you another book that shows you both sides of both situations in California for the issues that are going on that we're voting on now. So we're gonna be doing that one tomorrow. But um, I also want to just, just push out this book because I got this book and it really has helped me a lot find facts and stuff like that about things like our Constitution, especially because a lot of people nowadays are talking about the Constitution. People who think that it's outdated, which is crazy to me, because every single one of the things in the Constitution can still be applied to today 100%, like not even twisted or weird or futuristic, like it can really still be applied today, even the wording. So um, this is a book I got at Costco, it's really, really good. My roommate bought it for me, the U.S. Constitution and other writings. So it has the U.S. Constitution and it has a lot of things. Is there an author? No, it's not. Obviously the authors know who they are, who wrote the Constitution. Duh. So, um, <laughs> but it's by, in, it's an introduction by Ken Moshine, PhD. I don't know if you guys see it, but it's called U.S. Constitution and Other Writings. So this is a book you might want to look into getting. I like how it's called. Oh, that's cute. It's like a Bible-ish. It's cute. Anyway, so um, that book has a lot more facts in it, and you will be able to see a lot more hypocrisy and lies behind the leftist movements and motives as soon as you read a lot of that book. And um, it really will open up your eyes to a lot of different things that Americans don't talk about today um, or the um, constitutional things that we're allowed to do or say or have. And it may give you a little bit more insight into this whole like censoring thing on Facebook as well, because I did learn a lot with that too. But, <laughs> back to the situation at hand. Actually, I'm done talking about this. But, um, just know that these bombs, I think they're from the left. I'm sorry. You guys can base your opinions right here in the comment section below. Make sure you guys click the little bell at the bottom so you're notified every time I post a new video. Also, lastly, um, what was it? What was I going to talk about? Oh my god, it totally was important. Anyways, so we're going to catch up on all the normal political stuff after this whole bomb thing is out of the water because this is right now is what we all want to hear and talk about because let's be real, bitch, what's happening with this? I want to know who the fuck this is. I want to know who the fuck they find out it is. So stay tuned for more of the um, updates and stuff like that on this situation. But as of now, I think it's a leftist ploy personally. 100%, I think it is personally. I don't think there's really much anybody can really convince me up to tell me that's not. But, hey... Let's try it anyways. Again, put down in the comment section below what your guys' thoughts on this situation. Tell me what you think about the fact that the bomb person was smart enough to make a bomb but didn't know that these people are home but knew their address. Tell me if you think it's fishy or whatever. And we will see you guys here next time. And there's some more stuff breaking right now about the bomb, so I'm going to watch this. Let it go. Bye.